Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll start extracting pieces from this character because it probably happened to you before that you find a character like the Paragon characters that are super high quality but all of their weapons are stuck on top of each other and you may want to use them on other characters so extracting them is mandatory. We're also going to make a simple extract of for example the legs and then in a following tutorial I'll teach you how to add it to another metahuman for example although we did that on a previous tutorial already so let's jump in and let's do what we need to do to get this gun extracted we're going to extract the pistol that's inside of all of it so we're going to go for the hardest extraction first first thing we need to do we need to make a copy of our skeletal mesh underscore gun we're going to be working on that skeletal mesh Second thing we need to do, we need to make a copy of the skeleton that this character is using. Make it a copy, underscore gun. Now that we have the copy of the skeleton, let's go back to the skeletal mesh that we just created, which is underscore gun. We're going to right click on it and we're going to go to skeleton, assign skeleton. And we are going to find the copy that we just created of our original skeleton and you'll see why in a sign. So now that we have the skeletal mesh with a new gun skeleton assigned, we're going to go into the skeletal mesh and we're going to finally start doing the work. So first thing we need to do, we can't do this through try selection editing, it's a nightmare and it's very complex. So what we'll do is skin, generate polygroups and we're going to generate polygroups. This is a great tool to modify some of these characters that do not have a, a very good topology for try selection. So in conversion mode, we can switch between from connected to UV island. UV island is better for body pieces, but for the case of the gun, I am simply going to go for connected trees because it does only have a couple of connected sections and it's pretty easy to then figure out. We're going to hit accept and that's going to generate the polygroups for it. And now we can go into model and polygroup edit. Now, if you don't have any of these tools, if you don't have the editing tools, simply go to edit plugins and find the skeletal, oops, skeletal mesh editing tools. It's a plugin, enable it, restart, and you're golden. So once we are in model polygroup edit, what we need to do is just go in and figure out how many pieces this gun is made of. I know that it's made of those two and then the hammer back here and then the uh hilt of the gun which is down here with this little ring and this piece here i've selected all the pieces and the easiest way out for this is to do invert selection so down here on the selection actions we're going to invert selection and then delete faces so i deleted everything except the gun and then i missed this so we're going to delete that too and now we got the gun we actually missed the trigger but it's fine uh, just keep in mind that you can do this a bit cleaner. I'm just going to do it like that. So, it's the gun. It's gone. Everything is gone. Just the gun is there. So, accept. And now the problem here is that since we want to use the skeleton of this gun and we are not going to make it a skeletal mesh because we could just make it a skeletal mesh and call it a day. But I do want to use the skeleton of this gun because it has this and I may want to animate the barrel of the gun. I may want to animate the hammer of the gun. So we're going to do the hardest one, which is editing the skeleton now after we've already extracted the gun itself. Now, this is why we made a copy. If we go to skeleton and edit skeleton, we have now the ability to move the skeleton structure. So we're going to grab the pistol, the highest hierarchy. We're going to bring it all the way up and we're going to put it under the root. That way, everything else is separated from the, um, the gun itself. And now we're simply going to select the pelvis. And here in the skeleton edit, skeleton remove, and then the IK remove, and then the IK hands remove. Thus, we only get this, the gun with its bones, even with this little ring down here to animate if we wanted to. Oh, the ring. Oh, it's not working because we are in the uh, editing mode. And now we're going to hit accept and we're going to get this message. It's saying, hey, you modify the skeleton, it no longer matches the skeleton that was attached to it. Now, since we made a copy, we can now merge with that copy. So we're going to choose merge. We're not going to choose merge all, even though it won't do anything because we haven't assigned that new copy of the skeleton to any other skelly mesh. Come in. And now we're golden. And now that means that we can use the little ring. We can use the hammer. 
and we can use the gun barrel and obviously the gun is being moved everything's being moved by the root so that's perfect now this is a skeletal mesh extraction from the other skeletal mesh and if we go here we can see that the gun is on its own and that's awesome now if we were to have extracted the boomerang the boomerang has no bones we would have made it a static mesh and that we would have called it a day let's extract something else so let's do the pants whereas we don't need to create a copy of the skeleton for the pants because we are not going to remove the skeleton structure we're just simply going to duplicate the original and we're going to call this pants and now let's go for the pants and this process is slightly different because when we are going to skin and generate polygroups we're not going to use selected trees because you can see in this light green that it's connecting everything to it because these are actually connected um, trees but we don't want that we want in this case from uv islands we're going to hit accept we're going to go model polygroup edit and in this one i'm simply going to select the pieces of our pants we can or uh or can't select the holster here i will because i feel i think it looks cooler if it has a holster uh actually we should do the holster in a separate section so i'm going to control click to remove it because i probably want an independent control over the holster shift uh to select more pieces shift drag to do the marquee selection and now control drag to deselect the boomerang so now i think that's it i think everything's good here we are going to once again go into invert selection delete faces check that everything is good looks like everything is good we are now going to hit accept now that we did accept if we save and go out and send the pants in we have the pants here and that's it that's how you extract pieces from a skeletal mesh now this can be used in the process of creating it as a static mesh first posing it for a metahuman so for example in here if we wanted to use this set of pants on a metahuman, we would come here into the skeleton and or skeletal mesh and then bring in into the skeleton, for example, on the root, we could bring in a um, socket and then on that socket, we could bring in a preview asset. And since I showcase on a previous video, we can bring in now a metahuman full body that we got from a previous video. And let's bring in the male medium size because I know that this is the metahuman I'm using. And what we want to do here is we want to make sure that we are matching the posing of that metahuman. So first we need to scale it up slightly so we know that it is working uh, at least better. We are going to be scaling the skeletal, the static mesh once we're done with it. We're going to scale it up a little bit more in a way that it fits, right? We are too big now, so around there, I would say it works, and we may want to lift it up slightly. I think this actually fits very well without doing much modifications. So I think we are fine to do the final step without going too deep into it. So what we'll do is, this is again, just a preview only, so it's not gonna do anything for us, just there for preview the metahuman. We will make this set of pants a static mesh because we need it to be a static mesh. So assets, SMs, and in this case, Drongo, um, scab pants. And this is an SM, so it should be fine. So we're going to save. And once that we have this, that's perfectly fine. We're going to bring it into our world by searching for it into our content, assets, SMs. And we have them here. Now from here is where we need to make it match our metahuman. So we'll find our mockup and we'll find our medium body because I know that that's the uh, metahuman that I'm using. I know that it is medium body. So I'm going to bring both of them to the zero of the scene to make my life easier. And now that we have them here, I am simply going to scale it down in a way that it matches my metahuman. So I would say somewhere around there should be good enough. Um, if we wanted to make it match perfectly, which we should have, we want to push the feet closer together. We are not going to worry about that because, again, you already know this from a previous video. I'm going to simply leave it like that. We need to now apply this transformation. It can't just be here. 
So we are going to go to selection mode, modeling. And now we are going to go into X form, bake transform, bake full scale, accept. And the zero also needs to be correct. Currently it's not at the zero. So we're gonna need to make sure that that pivot is at the zero so it matches exactly. So we're gonna go edit pivot, bottom, accept. And actually no, edit pivot, world origin, accept, that's correct. Now we are at zero, now that's perfect. And now we do the final step, which is going and finding our generated SM and we are going to on it, now that it's been fixed and it fits the MetaHuman perfectly, we're going to right click on it and we are going to go into convert to skeletal mesh. And instead of creating new, we are going to use an existing skeletal mesh. And in here is where we are going to pick out the male medium normal weight which is the one we are using right now oh come on come on come on come on here it is and convert and now we have this and uh, material changes we are not going to worry about that right now so we're fine now it doesn't work remember that it doesn't work uh, this is just a preview mesh that we have there it doesn't work because before we do anything else we need to go to bind skin, uh, not bind skin, into skin edit weights. And then in edit weights is where we finally going to choose again mocap and then find once again the same one we were using which is medium normal weight. Now we're gonna click on transfer weights, we're gonna get a, get, click accept and here we are. We now have a fully working set of pants extracted from another character into this new metahuman and it's skinned correctly thank you so much for watching i will see you next time quick addendum the materials were just uh, ill assigned so simply find the correct material and assign it again and that fixes everything and now this works and it has the correct material thank you for watching bye bye